Fish farming has been part of Hawaiian culture for centuries. Handmade walls with slotted gates along the shoreline trap small fish in these ponds. They'll, they'll, they'll make this place their home until they grow large enough and they're ready to spawn, but they can't come out, so now they just become harvestable size. You don't try and adapt the natural system to, to work for you or to put out certain numbers for you. As worldwide consumption and traditional commercial fishing threaten wild fish populations, the ancient practice is being closely looked at as a sustainable local option out in the open ocean, where the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration wants to expand fish farming or aquaculture into U.S. federal waters around the Pacific. Researchers are currently working with this fish farm off the shore of Kona, Hawaii, to create a plan for managing commercial fish farms in federal waters. Here, Hawaiian kampachi, a popular local staple, are grown in large ocean net pens. NOAA says the currents help diminish nutrient buildup from the penned fish and benefit growth. We'd rather have these U.S. companies pursuing these U.S. opportunities in a sustainable, environmentally sound way. But some conservation groups are scrutinizing the government's backing of industrial open ocean farming. They cite pollution risks, the use of antibiotics, and say non-native farmed fish could escape and enter the natural population. We have to make a choice with aquaculture. What are we trying to do? Is our goal to feed a large number of people? Or is our goal to create or to serve a luxury market? Aquaculture systems have existed for decades in state waters, providing shellfish and fish like salmon for consumption, but not without their own environmental concerns. We need to protect the systems that keep us alive. A challenge amplified by an increasingly hungry planet. Christophe Fourier, Associated Press.